Hi, I'm Philip and I will be talking to you today about the role of computational notebooks in the life sciences. In this RDM bite, I will explain what a notebook is and how you can get one before finishing by describing why moving your analysis over to a notebook format could save you time and improve your science. Moving your analysis into a notebook provides provenance on how your data are changed as well. To get the most out of this video, you need to have written some data analysis code in a scripting language, such as R or Python. You will also need to be able to install software on the computer that you work on. This video has four learning objectives. Firstly, we hope you'll finish the video understanding what a notebook is. We also hope that you'll know how notebooks relate to data management. Our third learning objective is to understand how notebooks solve challenges in data provenance. And finally, we hope that you'll have an idea of how to get started working with computational notebooks. A computational notebook is a way of organizing code and the analysis or transformation of data into a more human readable flow. Notebooks place code, figures, and potentially explanatory text next to one another. This allows other people to follow the train of thought more easily. It also helps researchers document what they did while they are doing it, which has benefits for both themselves and for others. Through these mechanisms, a notebook provides detailed data provenance to another researcher. Notebook is actually a generic name for a number of software powered by modern web technologies. As several options are available, I'll mention a couple now to give you a flavor of what's out there. For researchers using R to analyze data, the first port of call will likely be R notebooks, which turn R markdown files into easy to read reports. Because their use builds upon your existing R knowledge, they are easy to start with. You can find a good introduction in chapter 3.2 of R Markdown, the definitive guide, a free version of which can be accessed via the link in the description of this video. An alternative to R Notebooks comes from Project Jupyter with their project product Jupyter Notebooks. As you might have noticed from the name, these were originally designed to support Python code. But as of mid 2023, you can use Jupyter Notebooks software with R and over 40 other languages. At present, Google, under the product name Google Colab, also support online hosting of Jupyter Notebooks, which can be very useful if you want to share code with a colleague without all in without installing all of the dependencies locally for them. Like most software, you will need to download and manually install your notebook solution of choice onto your machine. You can find locations for these downloads in the description of this video. I've also included links to the documentation pages of these methods where you can find detailed, up-to-date instructions on how to download and install the software. Because notebooks are designed to be fairly interactive, once you've installed them, you can simply run a command to get started. On this slide, you'll see a picture of what the current version of a Jupyter notebook looks like when opened fresh. There are two ways I like to think about notebooks as a tool, and both of them provide excellent motivations for adopting notebooks in your workflow. In route one, we think of notebooks as a way of taking work you've already done and making it more readable and accessible. This makes it also makes it more useful for you and your colleagues. To get started, simply find an analysis that you think is particularly good and rewrite it as a notebook, explaining the steps you took as you go along. Our second route is to use your notebooks as an analysis and data provenance tool in and of itself. This is an already an extremely common practice in commercial data science work, as notebooks strike a good balance between functionality and readability. To summarize, moving your workflows to notebooks could well make your work quicker to do and more accessible to others. Thank you for watching this RDM Byte. You can find more information, tips and tricks at the links in the description.